So in this video I am going to discuss for first round 928 rated for division 4. So in this video I am going to discuss first 5 problems of this problem set. So let's now begin with problem number A. The name of problem A is black and the best of 5. So in this question we are given a string and we have to tell them whether, whether the frequency of A is greater than B then I have to print A. If my frequency of B is greater than A then I have to print B. So I think so there is no need of explanation of this answer. So let's now begin with problem B. The name of problem B is blade and the shapes. So in this question we will be given a string. And on string there will be, or there will be I will be given a matrix. And on matrix there will be some number of uh, one written on somewhere in my matrix. And rest of the question will be zero. And these one will will uh, formally form a triangle or a square in this matrix. For example, this is a rectangle, this is a rectangle, but this is not a rectangle, okay. And this is also, although it is a right angle triangle, but it will be not count here. I am only going a equilateral triangle like this one. Or my number of ones will be forming a square like this. So I have to tell them what is the shape, what is the shape formed by when ones, either it will be, either it is triangle or either it is square. I have to tell them what is it. So there are many ways to solve this problem. So one of the ways which I have I have used to solve this problem is simply that in my triangle you can observe there will be a single one right here. Means there will be at most one position in my there will be at least one position in my in my matrix such that there is a my left hand side is zero, my right hand right hand side is also zero, and in my middle there is a single one. So if there is a triangle and it, this condition is satisfying, which means there is a triangle in my square. So there is a, there is a triangle in my uh, corresponding matrix. So if I am found finding this configuration like 0, 1 and 0 then I will simply print yes means or I will simply print triangle in, in all of the other cases I will simply print square because uh, one of the one of the thing is uh, needed to be there in my, uh, in my matrix the condition is given to be like that. So if I show a implementation implementation also easy. I am just checking if there is a condition like if my left hand side is my left hand side is 0 my, B, my middle one is 1 and my right hand side is also 0 then the, in this case my f is 1 if my f is 1 then I will simply put triangle else I will print simple square else I will simply print square so that's how I was able to solve this problem B in less than 1 minute after seeing the problem so there may be other ways to solve the problem but I have used this one so let's now discuss problem number C the name of problem C is Bilal and the sum of sum of digits okay so in this question, we will we are given a uh, like condition like each of my test case should be solved in within 0 0.5 second per test. Okay, which means we have to optimize the solution. So what is the question initially? So for example, we are given a, a number like 12. Okay, so if I write the number from 1 to 12, it will be like this: 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I will somehow I will replace the two-digit number with the sum of their digits. For example, the sum of digits of 11 is 2 so I will write it 2 here the sum of digits of 12 is 13 oh sorry 3 so I will write it 3, 3. now what is the sum of all these numbers the sum of all these numbers is 51 so the answer for 12 is 51 so I have to tell them what is the answer for 12 so answer for 12 will be 51 so how is 51 coming I have told you previously so in this question I will be given some number of test cases and for each of the test cases I have to print what is the sum of this number if I write the number in the from 0 to n and if my if number of digits are greater than 1 then I have to replace the digit with the digit sum and I have to then find the sum for example in this case it is 11 so first of all I will replace 11 with 2 then find the corresponding sum of all these numbers so that's how what they are asking us to do so most of you, most of you may be thinking like I can brute force all the questions like each, each of the questions I can brute force it which means I can find the sum, I can first of all write the uh, sequence from 1 to n, then finding the sum from 1 to n and print the answer. But this will give a TLD because my number of test cases are 10 to the power 4 and my each of the number can as much as go to 10 to the power 5, which means, which means at most you will be given 10 to the power 9 queries. That is at most impossible for you to iterate this much. So how to solve this problem? You can simply use a pre-computation in, in this problem. How pre-computation? For example, if I show it here, like I am, I am having like given some number of queries. Like I am having total five queries, numbers like one, two, three, and again seven, 
and last number is like four so these are the queries which are given to me okay so how to pre-compute first of all i will uh, first of all i will uh, for example what is your maximum number can be my, my maximum number can be 10 to 5 which means maximum number can be 10 to 5 which means any number which means any number among this number cannot be greater than this number so i will find all the answers to this number simply so how to find this answer so for this question ask is let me suppose my largest number can be 10 so what is the number like 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 simply here okay great now what i will do i simply make a prefix sum because each and every point because at each and every point i have to tell them what is the sum then that index so what is the prefix sum the prefix sum here would be 1 then 3 then 6 10 15 21 28 here then uh, 36 here then 47 here okay 45 here then add then my 55 here okay now tell me what is the answer for one i will simply make an array like this I will simply show this array that is prefix of array. So what is my answer? My answer is simply index of that number. If my if I'm if I am having a query like one, so what is the answer for one? The answer for one is this one only. What is my answer for two? My answer for two is that index, that is second index. At second index, what is the value? At second second index my value is three. So answer for two is three. What is the answer for three? I will simply check what is the what is the value written at the index three. So value is index three is six or my answer is six. What is the answer for 7? So for 7, I will simply say, what is the 7th index of this array? My 7th index of this array is 28. So 28 is the answer for 7. For 4, what is my answer? For 4, my answer is 10. So let's go, there is also 9. What is my answer for 9? I simply check, what is the 9th index of my prefix array? The 9th index of my prefix array is 49. So answer for 9 equal to be 45. So that's how you can solve this problem. If I show the code, the code is pretty much also simple. That is only pre-computation, but so this is my pre-computation array. What I'm doing here, I'm simply taking a maximum value which can be two to the power one five. Okay, what I'm doing is simply I'm simply I'm simply showing what about these numbers. First of all, these numbers because you, wait a minute, like there's a error here. Here it will not be ten. Ten will be initially replaced with one only because I will uh, write a digit sum. So if it is one here, then it will not be forty five here, fifty five instead here it will come like 46 so my answer for 10 would be 46 so that is also condition which i have to check, check, check along with pre-computing this array okay now what i am doing here i am simply storing the number but if my number is greater than 10 i am storing its value of the digits okay that's how i am doing here now after after storing each, each, each and every number what i am doing next i am simply storing the prefix array i am making a prefix array so like prefix of back plus a of i of for each and every text. Now if I'm if I'm given a query, what I'm doing simply I'm simply printing the as number which means the i th index of my prefix array that I'm showing globally here. Which means for each and every test case when this number when this array is constant, I am not calling it again and again because here you can see I'm calling the f function only one time. So that's how you can solve the problem you see without giving a DLE. So let's now discuss the problem body. The problem body is value than division. So this is also pretty much straightforward question which I could which I can say. So in this question we I will be given an array of n numbers and I have to group the numbers in somehow in some conditions. What is the condition? For example, I have a how I can group a number. Let's suppose I have a, I have a number like x and the binary representation of x can be like one zero one one one. This is a ideal number. Like this is a binary rep representation of x. So I can only group another number along with x if my second number is reverse of inverse of this number so what is the inverse of this number that will be 0 1 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 and 0 here so that's how i can group these two numbers this is a, this is the first most condition that's how how can i group the numbers so i have to tell them what is the number of group possible of, uh, what is the minimum number of group possible from this the, from this array so how to solve this problem so answer is pretty much simple first of all let's suppose this is my array okay like this is element 1 this is element 2 3 4 5 and 6 i will store all the numbers in my map okay i will store all the numbers in my map then what next 
after next what i'm doing simply i'm simply like suppose i'm having a one if i'm having a, if having if i'm having the first index i will simply find the inverse of that number i will show you that part that how you can how, how you can find the inverse in the most efficient way so you can find the inverse of that part then you can check map if the inverse of that part is already is in the map in that if my if my this number is in this map then what i will do i will simply reduce the frequency of this number and reduce the frequency of this number from a map and simply increase my count by one only okay because these two pair are forming a one pair okay which means these two these two numbers are in single pair let's suppose my reverse of this number is at index 4 okay so hypothetically i have used four index also my frequency of fourth index has been reduced to zero which means by iterating to the array if i am coming at index number four then i will check if if whether there is a frequency whether there is some existing frequency of fourth index in my map here you can see in this case it will be not be there because my first index is all is reverse of fourth index and if this condition is satisfied then according to this i have, I have previously reduced the frequency of fourth index accordingly yes now if i am currently at fourth index i will check whether there is a occurring of fourth index in my map but it is not here so i will simply skip the skip this iteration and move to the next index and i am also not increasing the count anywhere because i am not dealing it anymore but if there is a case like i am not getting a proper for example this is number and let's suppose it's a uh, reverse is this number but this number is all this number is not there in map so in this question in this question in this condition my three will be my uh, element and third index would be singly paired which means no other element will, uh, will be paired along with three so in this question my answer my count will be increased by one only so that's how you can solve problem d also so if i show the code the code is also easy i'm simply showing the frequency of all the number in a map okay now you can check i will simply finding a reverse number of my current number but how i can simply using using a bit set of question using sgl and i will what i'm doing i'm simply reversing a number like if it's zero then here it will become one and if it is one then here it will become zero okay i'm reversing the number now what i'm doing is by reversing the number i'm simply calculating the number which is now new formally number for example if my original number is this i will i will find first of all this sequence then find the number corresponding to this sequence okay i return that number simply so that's how i'm getting a reverse number according to rev now if i'm checking if my reverse number is also in map then i will simply reduce the frequency of my reverse number and if my frequency is reduced to zero and simply i will simply erase that number and i will simply increase the count and by default my my current index will always be decreased and if it is zero and it, then it will be erased but here you can see here is also a condition like if my if there is no occurrence of my current index because you, here you can see my fourth index has all, already been occurred by first index because it is a reverse of my first index so that's how i have reduced the frequency of fourth index previously so if my frequency of fourth index has already been reduced which means it is not there in the map then i will skip the iteration and continue and add then every single print the code so that's how you can solve the problem with you also so let's now discuss the problem b which i was able to solve partially i can say in this problem set so in this question i will be given number like n and i have to write down a sequence like first of all i will find let's go let me um, make you understand here only like i am having a number like 12 first of all i will like or i will write all or all, all all the odd numbers from 1 to 12 that are 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 okay now what i will do simply you can see the condition first of all write the all the odd number index to smallest to largest then lay down all the cards that are twice of the odd number from smallest to largest so what is my smallest odd number my smallest odd number is 2 and that is 1 so what is twice of 1 that is 2 twice of 3 is 6 twice of 5 is that is 10 and twice of 7 is 14 but 14, 14 is greater than 12 so i will stop my iteration here now what next uh, now write in all the numbers which are three times of odd number so three times of odd number here you can see if my if my current number is odd let's suppose my x is odd then three times of odd will also be odd number only will also be odd number only yes i am right so there is also condition like first of all i have written all the odd numbers in the first condition i have written all the odd numbers which means this third condition is useless i will never use this condition so this is useless part okay now i will write all the numbers which are 
which are the four types of odd numbers which means uh, four of one that is here four then four multiplied by three that is twelve right here so this is my sequence so how I will how I will write the number so what is my final sequence my final sequence will be looking like one three five seven nine eleven then two six ten and four and twelve so that's how I will be writing the whole sequence. Now I have to tell them what is the number at the k index of my f my this array. Okay. So this column is pretty much similar to Joseph column. So what is Joseph column? So most of you maybe most of you maybe heard of this column. Next, let's suppose I am having a total 12 numbers. Let's suppose I am taking this example only. Like I will write all the number in a circle. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. I will always start with index number 1. Okay. So if I am starting with index number 1, I will always skip a 1 part. 1 index, I will I will start from 1 and I will skip 1 index and move to the next part. Let's I am cutting down 1 here. So what is my first number in the sequence? That is 1. You can check here. Also finally check this on this array also. Like first of all is my 1, then I will skip 1 part, then I will move to this array, this index that is 3, then cut 3, now next is 3, ok, now move to the next that is 5, ok cut 5, here you can see 5 is also here, now skip the 6, move to 7, cut the 7, here you can see that is 7, now skip the 8, move to 9, cut the 9, and here you can see that is 9 also, now skip the 10, move to 11, here you can see that is 11, 11 also cut, now what? Now again repeat the re, repeat the same sequence. Skip that well, move to the next index. That is two. Cut the two. Here you can see my next number is two. Okay, great. Now skip the four, move to the next number, that is six. Cut the six. And now you can see six is also here. Now skip the eight. Move to the ten. Cut the ten. Here you can see my, uh, my next number is ten. If my current number is ten, now you can see. Skip the twelve. Move to the next available next available number. After twelve, what is the next available number? After 12, my next available number is 4. So cut the 4. You can see my next number is 4. After that, skip the skip the 8 and move to 12. Cut the 12. You can see my next number is 12. Okay. Now what is the last number possible? My last number is 8. So at the end, I mean, you can see my 8 is not there in my array. So I will simply write here, here 8 also. So that's how I can solve this problem. So most of you, maybe you have understood the pattern. Like I will form the circle here. I will skip one array, one, 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 and similarly follow the pattern. So this is a similar to problem like Joseph problem on a CSEA sheet. So first of all, solve the this problem. Uh, you can see the GFG article also on this problem also. So I will uh, suggest you to read these two articles before solving this problem. Then come to this problem. First of all, read this problem and try to solve this. Now after solving this problem, Solve this CS is problem sheet. Joseph problem one. This is the same question. Like in this question, I have to simply print the sequence. You can see my number are given from one to one in a circle, and during every game, I will simply remove the another child, which means you can see. Okay, I will simply remove the other child. For example what is my answer for 7 my answer for we can see in this case let's suppose first of all solve this problem then try to come to problem b okay so in this question the answer is pretty much simple only so this is only the answer that i have to simply skip the one part then move the next skip the one part then move the next but it is but it is not possible by seeing the question you can see my constant are till 1 in 9 yes but it is but this is not uh iterable so what to what to do next I can simply call a recursive function, but how? Here you can see, for each and every point, my number are reducing by 2. Here you can see, my total number of numbers are a 6. So, total number of here are total 6. Now my 6 are reduced to 3. My 3 are reduced to 2. And number like my last will be 8. My 8 is reduced to 1. So, by each and every point, my two numbers are being reduced. So, that's how I will use this utility. So, 